you who are familiar with the purpose of this deck, it was a follow-up from the one I talked about before Return of Ravnica came out, and the current slots are filled with what I said they would be filled with when the set went live. Uh, the interesting thing is, it is almost identical. Uh, the only real difference is being a lot with Troll, Arbor Elf, and Grizzly Salvage. Those are the only three new cards. Um, Arbor Elf obviously wasn't printed in Return to Ravnica, but it wasn't playable in line of Birds of Paradise being legal, and Shocklands weren't currently there, and obviously the Shocklands being the different you know mana base. But the big thing about this deck, and I'm having a little bit of withdrawals, is the early mana accelerators that doesn't leave any room for removal. And since I'm not running Angel Serenity in place of the Inferno Titans, I just don't really have any removal for game one. And that's not always terrible, because usually I'm just trying to win as a combo deck. So, uh, you know, re removal is sometimes a thing, and sometimes it's not. I almost always end up bringing it in game two, so that's kind of giving me the signs that I should probably just main board them. And these would be the first candidates to leave, because everything else is pretty um, integral to the strategy. So uh, I'm really not sure if I'll end up changing it eventually. Right now, I, I like how they make it more consistent and give me quicker wins. And if necessary, I can always just bring in removal. But my removal is very narrow, and if I wanted to play just mainstream line removal like Murder or Ultimate Price, that'll just kind of change the point of the deck. And at that point, I'm just going to play traditional reanimator, not the speed version with the Crater Hoof Behemoth. But if you guys check out the list, it is almost identical. Uh, it, it works functionally the same. I would say it works better in the sense of having Grizzly Salvage, but worse in the sense of not having Inferno Titan. And, but it's also only three colors instead of four. And Lot with Troll can, does some things on his own. And So, I mean, it's good in that sense. Um, even though the deck doesn't have removal, Lot of the Troll and Missiles and Thrag Tusk help me get to the late game. So I don't really need to remove things. I can just kind of stall until I reanimate the Crater Hoof. And almost every time we have Crater Hoof hits the battlefield, the game's probably over. So that's basically the way it works. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it is a combo deck in the sense that it tries to play something that wins the game on the spot, but not as traditional combo decks does. It, it plays early mana accelerators and cards such as Grizzly Salvage and Mulch to fuel my graveyard. And Mulch helps me keep more hands along with Grizzly Salvage, but Basically, you reveal cards, you either take dudes you need or just lands, and the rest of them go into the graveyard, and those cards end up being stuff like Lingering Souls and Burial Rites and Crater Hoof Behemoth. Obviously, Crater Hoof Behemoth won't be cast a whole lot, although you'd be surprised how often he is castable with the Accelerators. But this going into the graveyard or having one in your hand lets you play the Crater Hoof early in the game, especially with the main Accelerators, and having a couple of dudes just from Lingering Souls and a, dude, and a dork is lethal. Like, I think you only need two other creatures himself to make it lethal if they have a shock land or three other creatures himself if they didn't. Troll's primary slot is to take the place of Faithless Looting, which you could obviously just kind of play four colors and play Faithless Looting. He allows you to discard the Crate Hoof if you have him early, and he's a good blocker and attacker on his own. So, uh, other than that, the deck's identical. Uh, I would say the mana base is, I guess, better. Yeah, I suppose the main base is better than it was before the rotation with the Shocklands. But uh, other than that, yeah, the deck is literally, it just does the same thing. You just play dudes, and then when you hit Crater Hoof, you win. Um, as far as the sideboard goes, it's also very similar. Um, Centaur Healer and Golgari Char being the only additional changes. Uh, but, you know, I put stuff in for the bad matchups. Golgari Charm is very good, but usually I use it for its first mode, which also hurts my tokens and accelerator so that's unfortunate but I've haven't really been in a situation where it didn't work well in my favor so other than that uh, that's the deck so uh, stick around for round one <laughs> Bye.